Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this digital angle finder. So this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. If you find this video helpful and you want to purchase one of these, I'll put a link to it in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So here we have some instructions. I'm going to go through these quickly, but you can pause and read over these if you need to see more detail. But here are some specs. So the resolution of the digital display is 5 hundredths of a degree. The precision of the digital display is plus or minus one tenth of a degree at zero and 90 degrees and two tenths of a degree at other angles. So for unit of measure, we have degree, percent, millimeters per meter or inch per feet. It has a V groove so it can sit on round pipes has some built-in magnets. It takes two AAA batteries and it comes with the batteries. Then we have the working temperatures. So here we have the operating instructions. Press the power button to turn it on. Press and hold it for three seconds to turn it off. It will automatically turn itself off after three minutes. Make sure you have it sitting straight up and down on the surface you're wanting to measure. It has a hold function. It has an audible buzzer. It alerts when it's within plus or minus one degree to horizontal or vertical. It has a low battery indicator. You can also calibrate this. And this does absolute or relative measurements. Here's a little screwdriver and the batteries. Pull this out. It comes with a nice case. It's a little belt loop on it. And here it is. This is very sturdy feeling. It's made, it looks like aluminum. So let's put the batteries in. And when this was in the pouch, the screwdriver was actually magneted to the side. So if you want to keep those two together, you can. So here we have the front. Let's turn it on. So we had a little beep there. So let me readjust the camera. And there is some flashing there. I can't see that in person, that's only happening on the camera. So here we're at 0.2 degrees, let's lift it up a little bit. You can see that's changing. So it has this little indicator here that tells us what's up and what's down. So it's saying this side is up high. So let's hit mode. So this has the different designations. This is degrees, percent grade, this is two millimeters per meter, and this is inches per feet. Let's go back to degrees. So I can set this to relative mode. So let me pull this up a little bit. I'll press zero. That S is going to flash, and now this is zero. So if we tilt it up, it will be relative to the angle I started at. So I'll press zero to reset it. So we can also turn this on its side. And now we're reading 90 degrees and we'll turn it upside down and you can see that it switches to reading right side up. So if you're attaching this to a pipe or a drain, you don't have to reverse the numbers in your head. So let's short press the power. Now we have the beep mode on. So if we get close to level, it will beep. Then when we get to level, it will do a solid beep. So that could be useful if the level is not exactly where you're at. You could put this in the middle of a board and you could raise one end and then you'll hear that beep when it's level. So let's go try this on a couple different things. So here's a metal toolbox. Set that on there. Has really good pull there. Here's some conduit. Holds real tight to that conduit. It's actually kind of difficult to pull off from the middle here, so I'll pull it from one side. So very, very strong magnets. So here I am on a stair rail and I have a level here and I can place that up against the stairs like so. And then I'll put this on here and I'll zero it. Now, if I put that on the rail, I can tell if it's at the same angle as the stairs. So it's saying I'm a little high. So using that relative measurement, we don't have to remember angles. We just know that we want this to be at zero. This can also be used on appliances like washing machines to level them. So I'm very close to level here. Of course, I can magnet it to the side too. When I'm ready to shut this off, I'll just hold down the power button. So that's the digital angle finder level. I really like how sturdy this is. It just feels really nice in the hand. It comes with that nice case too to hold it in. It was super easy to use. You can place it on any of the four sides. And I like how the display reverses when you flip it over. So this would be good for construction work. You could use it on a car. If you're replacing the struts, you can put this on and measure your angle of your rotors and then get your alignment partially set. You'll still need a regular alignment, but it'll help you align the parts. You could use this for hanging pictures and things like that. 
or doing things like putting up stairwells. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.